Hey there beauties, it's your girl Kristen. I'm a licensed esthetician, an educator, mentor, a YouTuber, and a mom. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's episode. And before we dive in, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you're an esthetician or an aspiring esthetician or you love skincare that is all welcome here. I'm just excited to see where this channel keeps going and to see it growing. And I hope that this can be a valuable resource for you. The last few videos I have been sharing with you some what I call real talks and in my latest video I told you guys that my business page on Instagram the Kristen Marie Co underscore page was disabled. I'm thankful to say that it is back in action. I had the help from one of my clients who works at Facebook to submit an appeal for me and it turned out that the reason why they flagged my profile was because in fact they thought that I was trying to impersonate somebody impersonate myself, I guess. <laughs> I did end up getting the page back, thank goodness, and I verified my page. So now you know that that page is definitely me, who I say I am. And so we're official now with that blue check mark and I just it's just been such a relief to get that page back. I wanted to make this video to touch base with you and to talk to you guys about Kind of this season you know we're here we're, we're in october which is actually one of my favorite months of the year i love the holiday season but specifically i love halloween i love spooky season i finally busted out the halloween decor in my home and you know i'm so i still got a few more things to put up but um this is the time of the year where i feel like it can be a, a positive thing and it can also feel a bit uh draining at the same time. I wanna encourage you that even though we are getting toward the end of the year to not take your foot off the gas pedal. I went to New York uh, about a week ago and I, I made a, I filmed a vlog of that trip. So if you haven't checked it out on my vlog channel, go ahead and take a look. It was a lot of fun. I told myself though, after that trip, I was going to come back and get back to work. Throughout the summer, I feel like I kind of got a little too lax with it, okay? I stopped writing down my to-dos, I stopped writing my calendar, and, and for those of you who've been following me for a minute, you guys know I'm about my to-do lists and my calendars, and that's what keeps me organized. So I knew coming back from this trip, I was like, okay, summer's over, we're getting into the fall season, holiday season, and this honestly, I feel like, is the time to get to work. As a solo esthetician, I've seen throughout the years having my business that this can be kind of a slower season. Not necessarily slow, but it just feels like people are just so caught up with the holidays and just money gets tighter because of people buying gifts and decorations and things like that but i do really feel like it is all about your mindset so don't let that get into your head too much i think though what you do during these next three months though will set you up for what i feel like for me in my business has been the busy season which is from like january to the i mean honestly the summer was really busy so if you haven't already go ahead and, and if you have a scheduling system look at your scheduling system and figure out what it is that for your business has been the busiest and the slowest times for you. This year, our busiest month was June and August. But does that mean, okay, now I'm just gonna prepare to be busy during those specific months and, and work hard during those months? No, because I think it makes a difference to build up to that, to work up to that and to keep working and not get comfortable and not um, get your, put your foot off the gas because you think, oh, well, the holiday season, it's gonna be slow anyways and blah, blah, blah. But my mind is already going during this time. I don't like to wait till the new year to have my resolutions to start picking back up again um, because I just think that that's, it's just a cycle. And if you keep waiting till New Year's to get serious again, then you're just gonna find yourself in that same cycle where you lose motivation and then you need the new year to like pick you back up. So typically for me, when I need to get refocused, I look at the, I kind of break it up into like one month goals and then I do like kind of a overall assessment 
of the three of three months so like quarterly almost and so that's why I'm kind of sharing this with you now because I feel like October November December is that final quarter of the year so really take the time to sit down and think about what your goals are for this last quarter of the year and how you can really just skyrocket into the new year most people are in that mindset of the new year new me and that's really honestly the time where I think you could get a lot more new clients uh, coming in and you can honestly get new clients coming in during the holiday season as well because uh, we are entering peel season so for those of you who maybe you're just starting out in the industry and you don't really know what peel season is peel season is typically when the time clock changes right and we lose um we lose a bit more sunlight during this time which i'm not looking forward to but I explain it to my clients that um, because there's less sun exposure, this is the time to really dive deeper into your skin. So I'm already speaking to my clients about this season, honestly, even during the summer. I'm saying, hey, you know, prepare for this. I'm gonna do this on your skin next. So this is really the time to start talking to your clients about peel season for you also to be looking into which products and treatments you're gonna be offering during this time. And just remain excited and positive about it and write your goals for this next three months and honestly if you start now it's going to make your new year even better and your spring and summer next year even better i'm sure some of you needed to hear that i know i needed to hear that and i this whole week uh, have been kind of reevaluating and and thinking about okay i need to get i need to get back on track you know we got to get serious again but even just this week coming back from the trip i've had a, a handful of challenges presenting themselves to me i accidentally like poked my finger and it got a little infected so i had to go to urgent care and then my son started with a new caretaker and then she decided she wasn't able to continue which is a whole other conversation in itself but um in general it's been a challenge to have a child with special needs and find the proper uh, child care for him so I thought this one was gonna be perfect but it ended up not working out that way so now I'm kind of back to the drawing board seeing that the universe is always like well can you handle this too can you handle this too and you know I definitely had moments this week where I was tempted to just lay in bed and do nothing and cry and just be in my misery but um, there was definitely a handful of times that I had to have the talk of myself and be like, you know what, get up. That it, It's really not going to do anything for you to lay there and do nothing and then find yourself in the same uh, situation next week. So there was definitely a handful of moments where I had to force myself to, to get up, to get ready, um, to go to work. Definitely this past week has been a little bit of a challenge, but... That's the name of the game, guys. That's what's gonna set you apart from being a successful esthetician versus an esthetician that's kind of waiting for success to come to them. And you have to be that person who's gonna go after it. And and regardless of what's going on in your life, uh, no matter how hectic the holidays get, no matter what's going on in your life, I'm telling you right now from the core of my being that I, I know what it's like to uh, not feel like it. And, and also too, you know, I just chatted with a student today and she told me some of her struggles, um, not feeling like she's very savvy with social media and this, this and that. And I was like, you know what, I think that might be a mind, a mind block for you. I didn't, I personally didn't always know how to use my editing software. I didn't always know how to do the right angles when I was filming. I never, I was not always confident on camera. It took years of trial and error and educating myself um, to get to this point. And I still feel like I have room to grow. So if you're not willing to just even get uncomfortable for a little bit, then how are you gonna grow? And so, just know that yeah you might not be perfect at it at first but you have to try and you have to educate yourself and and be resourceful and i i think i've noticed that too when it comes to working with other people uh, i'm able to tell pretty much right away who the go-getters are and who are the ones that are kind of set themselves apart and i see the difference in their business versus the other people's businesses and so it really comes down to your own um, willingness to stay disciplined, to 
to get uncomfortable, to teach yourself the things that you might not be the best at. And you know, obviously I created this channel to be a resource for you, but of course I'm always gonna encourage you to do further research. You know, don't always take what I say as like the answer. At the end of the day, you know yourself the best and whatever it is that's gonna light you on fire. And I've realized that too, as I've grown in my business being licensed for over five years now. This is actually the, <clears throat> been, I told this to a client of mine the other day, I was like, this is the longest I've ever done something. Cause if you think about it, your, your whole life, every about three to four years, you're starting something new. So like high school is four years, college is four years. Uh, undergrad usually is like three to four or uh, post-grad is usually like three to four years. I had never actually even lived in a place for longer than two years at a time when I started living on my own. And so for me to have been doing this for five years, it, it's, it's, yeah, it's an accomplishment in itself to have stuck with something and to still feel passionate about it. But there is moments where I do feel like I've gotten a little you know, complacent and comfortable and, and definitely the wheels have been turning in my head like, okay, what class can I take next? What um, topic can I gain more knowledge of? And so I'm gonna be honest with you. I know you guys have asked for uh, advanced topics for my from my online courses and I'm really taking my time to put that together because I wanna make sure that it's quality. To take what's up here in my brain and put it into a course is a challenge in itself. and. No, and, and making sure that's robust enough to be a course, if that makes sense. Because a lot of the knowledge that I have has been just purely by experience, but I do have a vast amount of knowledge up in my brain that I know I could put uh, on paper and on an, in a course for you. But I do feel like I want to even further my knowledge of certain topics before I put it out there. And, sit and and share it with you guys. So just know that that's on my heart too, that um, I'm also still in the same boat as you, or I'm still, you know, asking myself, how can I educate myself more? How can I get uncomfortable more? You know, I heard from another influencer, something really valuable that I'll end the video here with, that she said, it's not about quantity, it's about the quality of the relationships that you have with your current clients. So you don't wanna tell the universe that like, okay, I want more clients, I want more clients, but like, you're not really nurturing the clients that you already have. And so I think this year I really tried to nurture the ones that we had by having certain events and giving them certain perks and whatnot. And so also I'm trying to think about what kind of client reward I can give uh, for the end of this year. So think about ways that you can give back to your clients, um, whether that's just even like a small gift or a thank you card, something simple. People just appreciate being acknowledged and um, and I think too it'll make you appreciate the people who have invested in you and who believe in you. That in turn I think will multiply um, if you nurture those, those people that you have already. To end this video, your to-dos are to revamp your calendar, get a new planner, write your to-dos and make specific goals for the next three months and break that down into a monthly um, kind of checklist and what you want to accomplish um, in that month and how that's going to feed into those the next three months. If you start doing this now, you're going to see a lot more happening for you at the beginning of next year and throughout the year. Make sure you do that. Um, also figure out how to nurture your current clients in a small, simple way on um, the next three months as well. I've said to you before, uh, continue to push forward no matter what you have going on in your life. Um, the problems will always be there for you. There's always gonna be a new set of challenges and um, it's up to you whether you are going to let those challenges bring you down or fuel you and push you forward. And so I've learned throughout the years that because I keep pushing forward and try to stay positive, um, that is what continues to bring more success and bring more happiness and bring more satisfaction in life. So I really hope that hit home for you today and um, you know, I, I am kind of also going to be sitting down and thinking about what topics I want to continue talking to you about. Um, there are a handful of skincare brands that I've been waiting to review for you guys. 
brands that have sent me products. So I think that's what's get, what's going to be coming down the pipeline for you on my channel is more skincare reviews. But if you have any ideas or suggestions, please feel free to comment below. Let me know what you'd like to see from me to share your journey and where, where you might be struggling or thriving. We want to hear all about it. So I love you guys so much. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Like this video if you enjoyed it and let's get to work.